Hi everyone, Silas here and in this video I'm going to talk about trigger links, automations and how we can actually use trigger links to automate a lot of our workflows and those kind of things within the GHL. It's extremely helpful for uh, automations and also tracking. Alright, so just to give you an overview of uh, what, we, what we're doing here is, so first of all we've I've built uh, a simple funnel named test trigger links and this is just the one step funnel so what's uh, what's happening in here is basically uh, let me just preview this so there's a form that you can uh, put your full name and email address and submit and then what's going to happen is once this forms get submitted if i go to contacts we will have that person getting added and as you can see there's a there is a tag there and they've received an e email as well now the way that that happens is within the automation so if I go inside the automation and if you have a look at test trigger link form submitted we're gonna have two actions in here one of them is when they submit the form and the other trigger is when they click on the trigger link so when they submit the form we're gonna create an opportunity I'm gonna show you in a sec what this does and we're gonna put them inside the incoming lead stage. Then we're gonna tag them, so that's the tag that you saw, form submitter, and then we're gonna send them an email, very typical email with a link. And then the last part is, if they click on that trigger link, so basically this is our logic, if they click on the trigger link, we're gonna do two things. So we're gonna add a tag that they have clicked on the trigger link, and then we're gonna create an we're going to update that uh, pipeline opportunity to go to the next stage, which is uh, website visited. So let's actually delete this one. We only need two of these. One is enough. Save the action. Save. And now let's go back and actually show you how you can create a trigger link. So trigger links are within the marketing. And then at the top you have triggers and then links. And you can just go ahead and click on add a link and create a trigger link. So this is the one that I've created and currently it's pointing to this. So if I click on this, it will open up to the page that is uh, pointing to. All right. And the way that you actually link this inside your emails or SMS are very, very simple. It's like any other type of linking. You just hyperlink. So if you look at this email, this is, so I select this, highlight it, click on the chain icon, and then down at the bottom, I choose the link list and I select the one that I want. And as you can see, it replaces it with some gibberish and you don't need to worry about that. That's actually gonna get converted when the emails get sent. All right, so I've already uh, submitted uh, the form and received the email. So if I bring that up and show you what is happening here. So this is the email that I received. And here is the link so i haven't clicked on the link yet so if we go back to the pipeline that i talked about this is the pipeline so i've already submitted the form and this is me i'm sitting in here now see what happens if i click on the link so if i click on this link it will obviously gonna open up the uh, the trigger link and now if i come in here and refresh the page it should automatically move the person to the right hand side there we go so as you can see this is going to be extremely helpful when you have an actual pipeline with a couple of different stages and as you can see they can have dollar signs so at any stage you can see where your leads are at so if you have like team members like your sales department your assistants and those kind of things they know that okay if they are sitting in this column the uh, column these are uh, my these are assigned to me so i need to pick up the phone and call and book them something like that so as you can see it is completely automated and you don't need to do anything about that and if i go to contacts i should have got the second tag as well so as you can see trigger link clicked and these tags are extremely helpful for filtering so if i click on more filter click on tag and say filter anyone that visited my website and I can save this and name it a uh, website visited. And as you can see, it brings it up in here, website visited. 
And what it does, it allows me to send a specific tailored emails or marketing campaign to the people that have visited my website. So I can further uh, do a uh, process, my, basically go through the, my, my sales process or other processes that I have based on the action that they have taken. One last thing I would like to mention is the other beauty of trigger links is there's actually two things. Uh, one of them is advanced. I'm not going to go into details of that is that you can actually have a custom fill within the trigger links. So you can actually modify the trigger links based on some custom fill. To just give you an example, I can make a page that is dynamic and based on the link, it will populate the page. So let's say if I'm sending this email to a person named Emily, I can make a page and also make a link that dynamically say, hey, Emily, or, or hey, John, based on the contact. So you can do a lot of stuff inside this. I'm not going to go through that. Let me know if you want to see how it's, that's done. I can shoot a quick video. But anyway, the other thing that is very helpful with trigger links is let's say down the track you want to something change and let's say instead of landing dash page it's going to be like landing page like this and you hit save what's going to happen is you don't need to go and change every single email that is using this link because now it is a trigger link and the trigger link is going to be the same and the platform automatically gonna convert it to the latest links that you put in here. So it's extremely helpful, specifically if you have different campaigns that, is, that are using the same trigger link. So you just basically go ahead and update it in one place and all of them is going to get automatically updated. And lastly, let's just do a live test. I know a lot of people when we do tutorials, it's like, okay, uh, let's do the live test. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, let's go and jump back to Safari. Let's put this guy again in here. Let's put my name. CH2. And this time let's use uh, another email address and let's hit submit. And I'm just going to pause the video and go and open up my email. So as you can see, I've received the email, it's coming in here. Uh, let's go back to Chrome and check the contacts. The contacts should be here. Number two, form submitted, I got the tag. If I go to the opportunities, I can see that it's sitting in here. And uh, this is based on first name. And now let's go ahead and actually click on the link. So let's go back, click on the link again. It'll open it up. Uh, let's go back to Chrome. And let's go to opportunities. As you can see, I'm sitting in here. And if I go back to contacts, I should have that trigger link. And to just show you a better view of how the website visitor works, let's just add a, a test contact. And let's just save this. And now let's go back. So as you can see, all contacts, we have three uh, contacts. If I click on website visitor, it's going to be only two contacts. So that's how the filtering is working and you can simply filter that. All right. Uh, that was it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, you know where to find us. If you have any uh, GHL issues or if you want looking for white label onboarding or basically an in-house tech partner for your business or agency or CRM automation, let us know. There's a link down there. You can uh, get access to all of the products and services and coaching that we have. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. And last thing, please do make sure that you like, share, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.